Alright guys, yep, uh, this is my second video. Um, we are now here at the home site that I told you I've already dug once or twice now. Um, it's, uh, it's actually pretty good. Uh, I found a pistol shot, I think, I think it's a pistol shot. It is a lead shot from a long time ago. It's got the white on it and everything, but, uh. Got a little bit of a cold going on. Uh, but yeah, I'll give you a little bit of a go around the place here. Um, still on the same property as that place I was at last time when I found a crap ton of beer cans and I was trying to find that gold ring. I haven't found the gold ring. Uh, I actually haven't been metal detecting between now and then. That was probably a week ago. Because I've been moving into a new house and everything. Well, it's new to me. But. Yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna see if I can't give it a go today here at this house site. Maybe I'll find some more interesting stuff. But, uh, let me give you a go around here. Of course, I'm back again with my Quicksilver. <laughs> I'm a sharpshooter shovel. It's all I've got. I'm trying to work, get a little bit more stuff, but, you know, maybe a better camera. You never know. Something good. This right here, this little patch of woods you're looking at, if I can get the sun, kind of there, that's kind of better. Uh, this little patch of woods here has got like a well down. Maybe, well, it's not a well. It's where they used to have like a smokehouse or a barn. Uh, or they pushed the house down. That's the only thing I can think of. Because see here, homemade brick. Got a handmade, you know. You can tell. You go a little bit further down in here, you find more handmade bricks. Another handmade brick over there, it's kind of tore up. Can't see it because this camera is crappy. Hey, at least it cost me eight, 18 bucks, man. 18 bucks to get this started. He even said it was good for YouTube. We'll see. Right? Still haven't even uploaded the first one. Probably gonna get them both this afternoon. Here's that concrete slab that came out from underneath whatever it was. Now, I'm not sure what that has to say about the house itself. But if you also look, there's rocks. What the heck is that noise? Right up there along that tree line. There's something just behind it. Maybe somebody's working on a tractor or some sort of machinery. I started making quite a bit of noise just then. You probably couldn't hear it, but, you know. Uh, there looks to be some old iron ore rocks and stuff. All down through here like this. Could have been like a cornerstone of some sort. But, hey. This one has some writing on it. Something D-E. Uh, Texas. Yes, it could be something else. Hey, it's got writing on it though. Yeah, there's that handmade brick. That's got to be, oh yeah. That's got to be like Civil War era. I've been to an old uh, powder magazine in Jefferson because I'm part of the Jefferson Historical Society in Texas. I don't live in Jefferson, but you know. Still some pretty interesting stuff goes on there. A lot of Civil War history. Thinking about asking if I can go metal detect out there. But you know. I'd probably end up putting most of my finds in the historical building up there in the museum. But. This truck. This whole field here right up on top of this hill. has got to be where the old home site is. Now I may have mentioned this in the last video. But uh. Right up here under this tree, there was a, there's a well. What my grandpa was telling me was that back when he was a kid, everybody built houses with a well on the backside. 
because they don't have to go out in the dark and go all the way to the well. See, here's the well. It doesn't go very deep. Seems like uh, every single one of my videos has a well in it. But this well, uh, I can't tell if there were rocks in it or not. It looks like there may have been some there. You see metal, metal wire and box strings there. Bo box springs. <laughs> Nails, round nails, something, some bit of a new posts and everything. Here, here's a new post as well. It's used for a fence of some sort, anyway. Get back from it. But it's just up underneath this big old tree here. And you gotta figure, this thing grew around that well. You gotta figure on how old that is. That's got to be old as dirt. See, look, there's some rocks. These these rocks have piles and piles and piles of them off in the woods down here. I don't know if you can see it, but the little white spot right there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, you probably hear me clicking it. There's a clearing. That white. A big finger in the way. Right there is a clearing, and then there's a tree line right there. That is where those big piles of rocks are. It's another place I want to metal detect. Because there's huge piles of rocks. Absolutely huge. There's also a little pond right there. Now there's also a road down through here somewhere. It's off over there. So I'm thinking that the that little pond was like a small swimming hole or a watering hole time and they used this right here as their driveway and they went down this way and they curved up that way because then it goes to the other old home site back up there next to that barn that I was digging at last time but all sorts of interesting stuff lots of history about the land lots of history about the land man but yeah right in here somewhere there was an old house site and that's where the well was so anyway I will see you as soon as I start metal detecting, maybe I'll find something. If I had another person, I might do a live dig, but you know. Anyway, let's give it a shot. See what we can find. Well, guys, I've been digging for here about an hour or so. All I can find is ferrous targets. I mean, every once in a while I come across something that's non-ferrous, but normally ends up being an old square nail <laughs> but you know I dig the trash sometimes there's treasure in with that trash but I did find this piece of glass not sure what it's to all I know is it's a uh, brown and old looking so probably off of something pretty old <laughs> it's too big to be a beer bottle but yeah pretty much all I found is those two and uh, another nail I haven't looked at too hard yeah it's another square nail it's also another square nail I just saw it as a nail and was like no I'm tired of nails <laughs> Seems like all I can find is nails out here anyway. Let's see you now. Trash, trash, more trash. Anywho, we'll keep digging. We'll keep digging here in a minute. I'll probably go down this direction. Down there, see if I can find something. But I'm going to keep digging in this spot because it's right up here next to this tree. Where that well's at. So, let's keep going. That gum, I wish I had a pointer because it takes forever to find these targets. Alright. Well, see what I can do. Alright, guys, I actually have a good signal this time. Listen. Well, spot's marked pretty well. Let's give it a go on digging it. Let's see what I can do. Maybe I can set this camera up. Kind of watch me. Let's see. All right, 
This may be good. This may be good. Gotta realize I don't have a pointer though. Give it a go, huh? Let's see if I can find it. Guess I missed it by a little bit. Oh well. Three. bit more. Oh, I know. Shut up. It's my shovel. Quit. Let's see if I can figure out what this is. Cause this is this is a solid coin signal. not bad. That's pretty dang good. It's Ford. Made in USA. I don't know what that is. It could be radiator cap. I don't know. But hey. At least I found something interesting, right? Go look that up. See what it's off of. Anyway, I have a Ford part. That's what it says. Ford made in USA. Man, it's got W on the bottom too. <laughs> Man, that's interesting. I wonder what it's made of. Screws on something. It's got a, it's got threading on the inside. That was it. <laughs> I think. Go over the hole one more time, check it, make sure that was all. Stick this in the back pocket. Most interesting thing I found today. Let's see. Let's move my shovel out of the way. So I'm going to get it in the signal. Let's see if that was it. That was it. What's that? Ferris targets. I don't like Ferris targets. Anyway, yeah. Ford part, man. It's nice. Made in USA. Got that little W down here at the bottom. But look at there. Live dig, come out with something pretty interesting. If I had any subscribers, I'd ask you what this is, because you might know. But hey, something, right? Well, find out with that quicksilver. Little hole here. All right, I'm going to cover my hole and keep going. See y'all on the next one. Well, started my dig there.
Got a pretty good signal. Uh, I've already covered up the hole. I found the item. So I hear, uh, I hear it going off on nickels. And uh, I'm like, well, maybe I'll find a nickel. No, I didn't find a nickel. I found a bullet casing. Throw the large bullet casing. I was thinking 308 6 but when I read the bottom, let's see if I can get this to work. It says, low 6-3 match. Do not know what that is, but I will be looking that up. But you know, hey, found something. Funny thing was, I started digging. It was right on top of the dirt. It was right there. I was digging here. Done covered it up, but. <laughs> I'm retarded, what can I say? Oh well. Anyway, let's move on to the next spot. Uh, I may, here in a minute, I may be moving over to see if I can find that old logging road back there that was a driveway for this place. I'll be checking everything to do with that. But hey, I found some interesting stuff today, you know. Not a lot, but I found some interesting stuff. But uh, before I go over there, I'll give you an update on everything that I've found so far. Anyway, see you then. Alright guys, here's my finds. I lost a couple of them up there on the hill. I don't know where they went. I set them down next to a brick, because I want to take the brick with me. But it's there somewhere. Can't find it for nothing. I found this here, it sounded almost like that radiator or whatever this cap is from the Ford. It sounded almost the exact same, had a little iron in it, but I figured, hey, dig it anyway, I hear the coin sound. Just gotta dig the rubbish, gotta dig the trash to find stuff like that. Got a round nail, regular one, that shell, I still don't know yet, I gotta look it up online some square nails I had some more square nails and a piece of glass but I set it down with that brick and that Ford cap now I don't know if I wanna end this video here and start another I might it depends on how long this search for the road over here lasts I gotta go pick up a friend at 3 30 and it's about 2 30 now so yeah that's my small bit of finds, my good finds here. This one in the bullet shell, I gotta figure out what caliber that is. But, hey, I found something like this last time, except it was a uh, old headlight piece. But I'm gonna figure out what that is. Cause you know, it's probably my best find today. Anyway, that's it for, uh, the home site, I'm going to go down and see if I can't find that old road down through there, that old driveway. It's just off down here. It's, it's not really that bad, but we'll have to circle around there and go all the way around here. So, you know, anyway, see you on the flip side. You know, flip, I got I a flip camera, whatever.